Today's instructional tip is a long putt. Many times you're playing golf and you're faced with long putts. This can make the difference between making a par and a bogey or a bogey instead of a double bogey. The problem with long putts is people don't practice them first off. So next time you're at the practice green, take a chance to hit a lot of long putts. It will not only help your long putting game, but it's also going to help your pitching and chipping. You've got to get used to the speed. You've got to get used to the distance. So in today's tip on long putts, the first thing you want to do is try and measure as much capability on the putt as you can. Try and survey the terrain, the distance, any type of undulation that you may encounter. In putting for long putts, you want to stand taller to the ball. And you're going to let the arms and shoulders form a nice pendulum motion. As you take the putter back, the putter is going to naturally work inside a little bit more and also inside after you hit it. You don't necessarily want to try and take it straight back and through. You want to have the natural arc of the putter. If you can see the putter move slightly inside to inside, kind of like a swinging door. That's going to allow you to release the putter head through. The problem with long putts, a lot of players don't play enough break or curve. You want to make sure you play enough break and feed it from the high side down to the low side. Also, a lot of putts are hit too short. So try and survey the terrain, stand tall to the ball, and naturally let this putter swing inside and inside, playing more break. That's the tip on long putts. Hopefully you'll cut down on your three putts, but remember, spend some more time practicing long putts. It's going to help your golf game and your golf score.